What is this? Oh, broccoli.
gaming, is it? Or TV, or comics, or anything. It's just, that's like fashion. Bringing fashion into consoles, I think, is a big mistake. Because most people want a PlayStation 5 for its performance. And yeah, they want it to look great. But it's not just a freaking handbag to swing around and put on a shelf. It's something out there to perform, you know? And to look very nice in terms of a very sleek, unique design. I'm probably going to piss off a lot of female gamers today because they love those stupid Louis Vuitton handbags, but I really don't give a shit about them. I'm more like, is it functional? Is it lightweight? Is it a fair price? How does it function? That's, that's my point of view. You know, so if I was a woman and there was a choice between Louis Vuitton, yeah, handbag, or say like Under Armour, I would probably pick an Under Armour purse versus a Louis Vuitton handbag. And it's nothing to do with price at that point. It would be due with, okay, which one's lighter? Which one's sleeker? Which one can get stolen a lot, uh, you know, a lot harder to be stolen? Which one's safer? Like, I would look at those kind of aspects to it. Because what a lot of people don't realize with these Louis Vuitton and fancy handbags that they're paying for their girlfriends or their wives or their, their future, you know, that they're probably going to get stolen. Or you're probably going to buy a knockoff that's, that's fake. And because there's a lot of fakes out there. And these these Louis Vuitton knockoffs, they look very real, by the way. Like, they'll even get the same badging from the, the bags stolen from the factory and then imprint them or sew them in to these fake bags. You know? And they can even steal the serial numbers, too. So if they're saying, oh, it's one of one or one of 500... Oh, they can get access to those somehow on the black market. They'll find a way. Lunch looks good from Da Vinci. Yeah. Broccoli, uh, noodles, um, olive oil, tomatoes. So pretty well balanced. Good, good uh, micro and macronutrients. Carbs, proteins. And, uh, you know, your vitamins, minerals. No complaints here, man. I couldn't eat this for for forever. If you said you, if you said Mike, you have to eat this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner for 20 years, and if you do that successfully, we'll give you a trillion dollars. It would be too easy. You know, there's times I can eat this like candy. Like these noodles taste like gummy worms. And this broccoli tastes like you're eating an ice cream. I know it's hard to believe, but my taste buds have changed dramatically over the years. Foods that were once sour are now sweet. Foods that were savory are now in between. Like, my t I swear. Something's changed. You know, and I just enjoy different kinds of foods now. Primarily Italian food. It's probably my favorite dish, to be honest. And no, it's not just freaking pizza. There's a lot of pasta dishes in Italian food, by the way. There's a lot. <laughs> There's more than we realize. And I like Greek food, Mediterranean food. Something that's like kind of like hearty-ish, but it's got a lot of oils and you know, kind of juicy. It's got water in the food. A lot of people just chugging like gallons of water and they're eating dry food. And I feel like if you eat like watery-ish food and you drink water at the same time, you've got best of both worlds. You're really gonna compound your uh, hydration, so I've gotta see it from a performance standpoint. But what does the food do to you, not just the taste?
People that go on no carb diets as well, I don't think those work. Because your brain needs glucose, it needs carbohydrates. So does your muscles. It's called ATP energy, yeah? Which comes from glucose. Glucose broken down through the carbohydrates. So your muscles, your brain, your organs, everything, you need the carbohydrates to a certain extent. These people are going on no carbs to low carbs. And you're wondering why they can't function correctly and they can't think straight. That's the reason. They're just depriving themselves of the needed glycogen stored. You know, it's just crazy what people do, these extreme diets. Some people are, they're not eating at all. They eat like one meal a week. And it's like, that is just craziness. You're, they're basically in starvation survival mode. And that to me is just crazy. That's like cannibalism. You're just, your body's gonna eat itself. Your muscles will break down to, to fuel your organs. And you're not gonna have enough energy to do anything else. So it's just everything in balance, I think. And this dish doesn't even have any meat in it at all. Because the protein source I'm using is a clean source called broccoli. And it has about eight grams of protein per quarter ounce. So if you eat enough broccoli, that's the equivalent of eating a steak. Minus the health complications of the heart attacks and the clogged arteries and all that stuff that comes along with it and the mad cow disease and all that. If you're in the UK, of course. So, yeah, I mean, I've been eating a lot smarter lately and enjoying different kinds of foods. One of my favorite dishes is probably pimientos. I can, you can take rice, brown rice usually, whole grain rice, yeah. Add in some parsley, some basil, some herbs, and then put pimientos into the rice. That's such a like easy to make and delicious dish. It's usually more of a snack. But if you eat enough of it, it can turn into a meal. I don't usually eat on camera, but when I do, I explain what I'm eating and I explain the benefits to it. <laughs> That goes in the chat with the massive gold medal. Yeah, man. Just think about it from a performance standpoint. How can it help you perform better? You know? You don't have to be an athlete to copy them or to replicate them. It just helps. I'm surprised that esports don't have like organic, like fueling energy drinks, like really like super healthy, high performance energy drinks that help them perform at their peak. Because I don't think, no, no disrespect, but I don't think G Fuel really is the best. Just my opinion. 2.66. What do I have on my end? Point seven. Oh, so it's definitely dropping. All right, we'll check later, man.